and welcome back to another one of my videos. I'm trying to remember to say good evening and not good morning at the start of my videos at the moment because I've realized I never upload them in the evening. So it doesn't really make much sense. But um, it's Monday morning and I'm feeling like a bit weary today. I had a bit of a crazy weekend to be honest. Um, we just ended up planning loads of things. Went to the Dior exhibition at the Victoria and Albert yesterday, which was absolutely amazing. I don't know how much longer it's on for, but um, if you live in London, I'd like highly, highly recommend it. Um, it was amazing and just lots of drinking and going out and to be honest I've basically eaten pizza and pasta straight for a whole week. I thought today it'd be quite appropriate to film a video that's more about like fitness and like healthy lifestyle um, and I guess this is partly in a bid to kind of get myself back on track a little bit. I've traveled so, so much this year, which has been amazing. Like I've had so many amazing opportunities, but it's actually really meant that my healthy lifestyle has like taken a bit of a backseat. And, and I've gone through periods of time where it's been good and I've been on track for a few weeks and then I've gone away and it's sort of thrown everything off again. So I thought today it would be really, really good to just, yeah, explain what I'm trying to do at the moment and everything that comes with that. So I thought I'd start by like chatting through a little bit about like foody stuff and then later on when I've done a bit of exercise we can go through like fitness routine and stuff like that. So you will have seen this morning that I start off my day at the moment with Simprove which is basically like good gut bacteria in a drink. Um, they very kindly sent me like three months worth of their um, product I guess to try and when I take it consistently I think it's genuinely really really good like I think I'm less bloated everything like that and um, if you watch my bloating video on YouTube you'll see that I've basically had loads and loads of digestive problems over the past few years which I feel like are finally starting to settle a bit and that's really really helping with it so that I can genuinely say is something that I'm really looking forward to sort of taking consistently for a few weeks now. It doesn't travel very well because it needs to be kept in the fridge and it's like over the amount of milliliters that you can travel with in like a hand luggage suitcase, which I seem to be doing at the moment. Um, but when I go on my family holiday next week, I'll be able to pack it into my main suitcase, which is great. Um, and then I also have breakfast, which is something that I'm trying to get in the habit of doing first thing in the morning or shortly after I've woken up because the last few months I've just been really like slacking with it. Like I think I, I go through stages with breakfast foods anyway and I went through a stage of just like not really enjoying eggs but I didn't really want anything that was sweet in the morning and then I was just kind of left with like snacking a bit in the morning like a few berries and things like that and then at lunch I'd have something big and then I'd find my eating was just thrown off throughout the day basically. So one of my goals is to eat a good breakfast sort of around eight o'clock, like latest, to just set me up really well for the day. So I started off today with two scrambled eggs on two pieces of wholemeal bread and Matt is coming around to shoot at about half 11. So it means that we can do a bit of that. We can probably have lunch together and then I'll be set for like dinner as well. Also with eating, I kind of wanted to touch on my plastic free challenge that I've been doing because I know I've spoken about this like loads on my Instagram page. I'm sure everyone's actually really bored of hearing about it on there, but I've not actually spoken about it on YouTube. And like I'll probably do a separate video on how it went when it's over, but it'd be good to sort of chat to you a bit about how I'm finding it so far as well. It's going really well in general. It's been really hard when I've been away on holiday because two of the holidays that I've been on um, have been very much like group food things. So I've not been able to be like, okay, can we go to like a local market and whatever. I've just kind of had to eat what the group wants to eat. But in London, it's not as hard. I'm finding the fresh produce side of it way more difficult than I thought I would. I seem to snack on berries quite a lot and it's honestly near enough impossible to find berries that aren't in a plastic box in London. So basically, have almost cut those out for a little bit. So it means that I've basically been stacking on things that just haven't been as healthy as I usually would. And this weekend, I actually went to one of my local markets and managed to find someone who would like give me strawberries in my own like plastic Tupperware that I'd taken with me. So I was really, really happy about that. And I also stocked up on loads of fruit and veg for the week because I'm finding at the moment, the micronutrients are like really difficult to get in. So that's a goal for this week. Really, really need to get more of those into my diet. So 
lots of micronutrients, eat my three meals a day and snacks and just try and keep up my protein intake, which I'd been really good at doing. I'd been introducing sort of a protein smoothie into my diet every day. Um, I naturally, I'm not very good at eating a high protein diet. So I also just wanna to touch on something which I know can be a bit of like a sensitive topic and I always tiptoe around this, but I feel like at the end of the day, I am in the fitness industry and it, these things are important to talk about as well but it's like where i'm at body wise at the moment um now like disclaimer i'm not saying that like how i look isn't right or like i don't look toned or anything like that but i personally am at this sort of like highest body fat highest weight probably that i've been at for quite a while um and that's absolutely fine i'm not really unhappy with how i am i'm not really unhealthy just you know when you can really tell in yourself that you're not looking what i would consider as like my best at the moment and that's genuinely just down to like a lack of like eating healthily probably overeating quite a lot not being consistent with exercise being away on holiday just basically not being that healthy um which is absolutely fine um but one of my goals is probably to just lean down a little bit so what i'm going to be doing is just getting it really back to basics cooking all my meals in kind of planning a little bit in advance as well what i think i want to eat in the day like, basic meals three meals a day and just feel like a little bit happier about what's going into my body for now i'm gonna try and get through this whole thing of water maybe make myself a cup of tea as well and yeah just go and crack on with a bit of work me and matt are off to film a few things at the squash club but i really wanted to show you my new squash goodies oh what have you got for us i know well this is so exciting for me because basically. I've always like dreamt of working with a squash brand and I used to have a squash sponsor when I was younger but um, Paul really kindly from Unsquashable reached out to me. By the way it's a like, sick name. What? Unsquashable. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm Unsquashable. <laughs> um, and he wants to try and do a bit of work with me on developing like the women's side of the brand which is so exciting for me because I feel like obviously so passionate about like women and sport and wanting to get more girls like into squash anyway. Um, so he was like choose some goodies online and I've needed new squash rackets for so long. Let me just show you. This was the one that I was using, which like nothing against Dunlop because they've got great rackets, but this was from Sports Direct okay. and it was like 19.99 or something. Right, yeah. And it's just basically like not the best racket I've ever played with. So here Ooh, we are. Fresh. I'm not the other one yet, but I'm so excited about using them. Um, and these are used by like most of their sponsored players because um, I actually feel like I don't know that much about squash rockets anymore I feel like I used to know loads yeah. I can't even remember what weight I used to use um, so very cool, cool strings as well probably need to change the grips on them before we go um, I've got two of these in case one breaks and then I've got a new squash bag as well so the rackets kind of stick out at the end Sweet. If you go with me. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm very excited about using this. So, we're going to go and try them out. Yeah. Uh, going to go put them through the test. There. See you there. Look at it. How old school do you get? It's like an arcade coin. It says Euro Coin London on the <laughs> Just so people know what the coin's for, do you want to explain? And it's for the... for the electrics at the squash club. Any tips for pulling out of junctions? Um, don't run over cyclists. Yeah, always look out for cyclists. It's actually so hard in London to drive with cyclists. Yeah, they're everywhere. And people on mopeds. You need to make it more like Amsterdam. Why, Where what, what? cyclists are like... I haven't been. If you so. don't... If you don't cycle in Amsterdam, you're like, it's like frowned upon. And right. also, they have right away, so you can just get run over by a cyclist rather than a car. It's really it's hard mad. to like cross roads because everybody is on a bike. Yeah. We were going to get um, Boris bikes yesterday on the way back from the um, Dior exhibition, but I was too scared. <laughs> I would like to cycle in London. I'm just not good enough at cycling. No, I, I, you've, I cycle. you've got to have balls. Yeah, and I'm not... You like know. around these parts it's not so bad like if you were to cycle like anywhere like near central london and which I'd is just where be, we were yeah i'd just be scared we were like south can area and it's yeah. like not safe to it's cycle. busy and it's just you just don't want to do it do you and when you i was younger safe. my dad wouldn't let me cycle without a helmet and i feel like i've still got that in my head oh yeah no you should definitely wear a helmet yeah. if you're gonna cycle like i remember because 
me and my friends wanted to start cycling places and my dad would like pull alongside us in the car and be like, Annie, where's your helmet? And then I would be set and ready to go. We're rolling. Are we going to have a match? Are we? Well, we could have a match. I mean, I could, uh, yeah, I could beat you quickly. We're actually going to film a few videos to my Instagram page and then maybe have a match. Let, let's show everyone your Man club. Needs a bit of Sh confidence boost. <laughs> <laughs> show everyone your squash club. <laughs> um, what else do I need to play with? Let me just be prepared. Water. That can all stay there. Okay. Welcome to my crib. I really like what you've done with the walls. Thanks. <laughs> I did it myself. Personally. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is a squash court, guys. So if anyone's not seen a squash court before. What do the lines mean? So, squash 101. You serve it. Yeah. One foot in the box, one foot out of the box. Yeah. Hit the ball. Yeah. On the serve, it's got to go above that line, below that line. It's got to land. Oh, above it's that one, below that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got to be above that one and below that one. Okay. And it's got to land. Can never go below that bottom line. And it's got to land in that quarter. Okay. And the red ones all the way along the side. That means out. Sweet. Right, should we play? I'm gonna get it now though. I'm gonna get it now though. I'm not slowing down though. Plan now? Home. Yeah. Edit. Yeah. Food. Yeah. Home food. Edit. Good squash session. Mm. How did you find it? It was good. <laughs> right, so back from squash. Matt and I have shot like a load of content today. It's actually been a really, really productive day, which is good because it's a Monday and it's always good to start off the week like that. But whilst my YouTube video that's going up tonight is just uploading, I thought I'd speak to you a little bit about fitness regime kind of thing. So as you will have seen, I was obviously just playing squash before um, and it was kind of a bit of a mess around thing, like played a little bit with Matt, um, shot a video, those kind of things. But I'm literally loving playing at the moment. I'm playing for one of the men's teams at my club. That's mainly because there's not actually a women's team, but my club doesn't actually have enough female members, which is also why I'm so keen to kind of like get more people playing this sport. So yeah, play for one of my local men's teams. They're all really nice. Everyone makes me feel really welcome. Really enjoy doing that. Really good form of cardio as well. I've just said really about five times in that sentence, but that's such a great form of cardio for me. So in terms of the gym, my ideal situation would be to be going to the gym about four times a week and all of those sessions being like resistance, um, weight based sessions, um, maybe a little bit of cardio thrown in there. But what I wanted to speak to you about really was how I've shifted my focus in the gym. So probably because on the back of my injury, I could only do very like static weight space things. I'd sort of adopted, um, I guess Elliot's training style. So I was doing like a push pull leg split. It worked really well for me. I'd seen like such an increase in strength. When I've started playing squash recently, I've kind of realized that the stuff that really helps me when I'm on the squash court is the more functional based stuff. So I'm trying to incorporate much more well, movements in the gym that use multiple body parts, like full body circuits, a lot of like circuit based stuff, um, a lot of plyometric movements, things like that, that just really, really assist me when I'm on a squash call. More like how I used to train, to be honest. Now I'm making sure that I'm still doing my like compound lifting. So I'm still doing, well, I've just introduced deadlifts back into my workouts, but squats, that's still something I'm like got a massive, massive focus on. And then I'll still also start my upper body sessions with things like shoulder press. Still keeping in those big movements, but just the rest of the session is where I'm like varying it a little more. So my upper body days at the moment are more just upper body rather than a split between um, a push session and a pull session. I don't know if that I'll, I'll keep it like this, but this is just sort of what I've been enjoying doing mostly at the moment. And I think I definitely went through a stage where I 
thought there was a right way to go to the gym and I think recently I've just sort of realized that exercise is exercise and enjoying it is really what counts there's not really a right way to exercise unless you're like compromising on form and things like that so if I can go and do like an upper body session a week a lower body session a week a full body session and then the other one is a hit session or I've recently done a session where I've like worked on my weaknesses then that's actually really great and it's just kind of been working for me so yeah I hope that has sort of like helped you have a bit more of an insight I guess into like what I'm eating and my training at the moment and I hope also you enjoyed seeing a bit of my squash training because some people say they want to see a bit more of it but I'm never sure because I know like not everybody plays squash um so yeah I'm gonna leave the video here and um, this week I am gonna film a what I eat in a day video so hopefully what I've told you in this video will also like apply to that and I know a lot of you enjoy watching those as well please subscribe to my channel if you did enjoy this video and give it a like and I'll see you in the next one.